Oh, welcome back to Teardown, ladies and gentlemen. Sorry I've been away for a while. I've been enjoying my highly detailed house in this game. So why not show you around? This is my pool. Yep, that's pretty much it. These are my two Lamborghinis. What's down here? Wait, what? I actually didn't know this was here. Is this like a secret room? Or is this like one, one of those bays? Yeah, it's the bay where you work under the car. I was hoping for a secret room instead. Damn, we got a nice stereo system. Can I pull that off the wall? I seem to have broken it. Let's break it more just because that's fun. But yeah, this is seriously just a very detailed house, by the way. Uh, like, so detailed that... <laughs> The dumpsters have wheels on them and workable lids. Is there trash in there? I wouldn't be surprised. Unfortunately, it's clean. Just like the rest of this house. Um, yeah. I don't really know why someone would spend so much time de developing a house. Like, it's got a washer and dry. Can we put anything in here? There's got to be something here we can put in there. I have stolen a piece of the trash can in hopes it will fit. It seems like it's falling through. I don't even know if it's in there. Can I just break this? Okay, my bad. Dude, like, serious amounts of time went into this house. We got microwaves. Turn it on. Put your head in if you want. Turn on. What the hell is this? Whoa! I didn't mean to turn that on. I want to know what this is. What the hell is this? Is this like a Lazy Susan type thing that comes out? It's supposed to go further down. All right, hold on. What is it doing? I'm so intrigued by this. I don't know what it is. Does anybody... I, I think it just comes out, but I don't know what it is still. Ah, this is the room I was looking for, though. This is, you guessed it, the pool room. But I had to install a pool cue weapon because you're supposed to be able to... Well, this is why you don't have uh, cubes as pool balls, I guess. That didn't go as planned. Okay, it's not even going where I'm shooting. There we go. Look it, I'm playing pool. This is so stupid. I love... Oh, damn it. There goes the white ball. I scratched it. Well, you know what I say to that? Oh, God. Oh, that was a little bit much. Okay. I... I, I should have expected that, considering I'm one punch man. Uh... Uh-oh. Did I destroy the entire freaking house? Mother of God. Wait, what's in the attic? I, I must find out now. Dude, this is so cool. It's just a house, but it's so fun because it's so freaking detailed. We, we do have toboggans. Why do we have toboggans up in the uh, attic? I don't know. I mean, I guess that's a good place for them. Anything else in here? Oh, I just knocked the light off with my head. Nice. Let's, let's do that again. That's fun. All right, I feel like I'm part of jackass now. Here we go. Here we go. <laughs> What am I doing? Like, seriously. I also noticed that everything... That, wait, did that turn off? I don't even know if it was on or not. Can you plug it, things in and out? If if that's the case, this is amazing. I mean, I understand everyone's probably like, this is, this is the most boring thing ever. You're playing with a frigging lamp. But dude, detailed levels are the best thing ever. I can't seem to plug it back in. All right, I reloaded because screw that. You can indeed turn it on. I just want to know if I unplug it, does it turn off? How do I unplug it? Oh, there we go. It does! I wish the plugs were easier to plug back in because you can move things around. I saw, like, there's open plugs everywhere. Look, there's there's one here you can plug in. Dude, I don't know why, but that, that just blows me away, the plugs alone. Ah, this is more my style, though. Welcome to the forest, the dynamic forest. Now, what that means is, you know the trees, when you knock them down in this game, they absolutely suck. These ones, I don't know if we're going to get enough speed to knock these beasts down. They should be a lot more... Oh, wobbly. Look at that. We knocked a few branches off. Yeah, let's take this guy for a ride. We're going to go through the forest here a little bit. I want to knock down one of these suckers. <laughs> Dude, I don't care what any of you say. I'm having so much fun with the stupidest of mods today. Like, this is amazing. Imagine if all the trees in Teardown were like this and weren't just rigid sticks, essentially. I mean, it's nice that they're actually hard to take down to. I gotta be able to one-hit one. This is it right here. It's going down. Yes! Oh, man, I destroyed my truck doing that, but it was worth it. Oh, this one's much faster. Okay. Well, that was unexpected. I literally destroyed the whole thing, but I took out a few trees with me. You know what? Actually, I have a really cool weapon today. I have a lot of cool weapons, but more specifically, this one will be cool here because we have the freaking Sith Saber. Get it. Get it, Sith Saber, and come back to me. Oh, that felt real. I, I feel like a god right now. 
So yeah, you can chuck this wherever you want and you can kind of direct it. So if I wanted to go over here, for example, I just right click and look at that. It's my own little pet of destruction. Come back to me. I said, come back. Thank you. Of course, you can use it like an ordinary lightsaber too. And there she goes. Uh, what, what else do we have here? I don't know what this is. Oh, well, there goes that tree. I'm assuming this is an anime reference. I'm having fun with it. Does it pull in at the start? Did you see the tree pull towards me? Okay, man. I think I'm just crazy. This is actually hurting me, though. This is dangerous. Of course, we already saw one punch, man. Let's try it again. How did I destroy a whole... How the hell did I destroy a whole house and I can't destroy a tree? That's weird, actually. Uh, we have the Omni Fist as well. Okay, that did a little better. Jesus. You know what? This is what you need when you start a new game in Minecraft. You know how you gotta punch trees? Just use one of these fists. There we go. Look at all the wood I just got. All right, and here we are. Another dynamic map. Welcome to Dynamic Warehouse. Uh, what the? Ah! Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Oh, that was a firework. Oh, wait. Can I just move? Oh. 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 <laughs> Come on, do it. Yes, keep going. Oh, this is great because it's not real life and I don't have to clean it up. Damn it, it didn't keep going, though. It must have been the weight of this. Well, you know what I got to do now? I've, I've been enjoying the Sith Saber. <laughs> Let's do it again. <laughs> Where'd it go? Come back to me. I can't even see you down there. Holy man, that's too much damage. I think we got, yeah, way more stuff outside. Ooh, yes, please. Oh, ah, 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 I killed myself with fireworks. Oh no, there's a fire. We better put it out. I'm gonna use this. Did it work? I think I, think I just spread it. Uh-oh, uh-oh. Okay, well, that's a good way to kind of showcase another mod that I'm using. Did the whole roof just blow out? Yep, that affected the whole roof. That's because I'm using a fancy new mod called the Structural Integrity and Collateral Damage System. Basically, it makes destruction a lot more realistic. The system calculates things like fragmentation, pressure, collateral damage. It has accurate dust unsettling, structural integrity and collapsing weight and more. They're working on it and trying to make the destruction in this game a lot more realistic. It makes the game a little more laggy, I will say that, but the destruction is way more fun to watch. So before, there would just be a little hole in the roof. You can see it kind of chained together and took out the whole roof because the structural integrity of this building couldn't hold up. Really freaking cool. Oh, that's gonna blow up. That didn't come out for some reason. I love that they actually blow up as fireworks. That's fantastic. Sticking with the oddly detailed, we got, uh, of course, a PC case here of all things. And uh, I was actually standing over here. We have an extra graphics card, I guess. Like everything is just extremely freaking detailed, even to like the slots. I mean, we tried it in the house. I, I did notice that this is plugged in. Can I please pull it? Wait, can I pull it out? All right, it doesn't look like I can pull it out. Maybe I can pull it out from this side. Even the light is on. Oh, that's... Oh, my God. There's detail inside the power supply. Dude, I am nerding out right now. Now, I'll freak out if I destroy this cable. Does the... Uh... Oh, my God. It doesn't take much to make me happy, man. When you cut the power of this and it turns off, did the light go off as well? Okay, the light didn't go off. I hate this now. This is your PC playing ordinary games. This is your PC playing teardown. Oh God, I blew it up. I, I, I actually blew it up. Okay, my bad. Let's go in the power supply. I hope I don't break the fan because I actually want to go in here. Like, you even see the motherboard? I think I, yeah, unfortunately I broke the fan trying to get in. <laughs> I wonder if you can like overheat it by taking out the fans. Because that would be freaking amazing. There goes that one. <laughs> Oh, God, no. That is a weak graphics card, man. Uh, I guess we'll never know. Let's take off the uh, CPU cooler here. Oh, it's actually on fire in there. Oh, I, I didn't do that. I just started shooting it. Did it over... Wait, did it actually overheat because I took out the fan? All right, I'm not going to destroy the uh, graphics card this time, hopefully. I just want the, the uh, fan to stop. Will that heat it up enough? All right, I think it was just sheer luck that it started to catch fire when we turned the fan off. I don't think we can actually take it out. The only thing that seems to explode is the graphics card. <laughs> there we go. That's some of that uh, new destruction physics. 
All right, and this is a very BMNG-like map. We need more vehicle sandboxes, in my opinion. But yeah, you can go around and uh, you can actually customize these, which is really why I wanted to show you this. So any zone you go into, well, not any one, but some of them you can actually customize, uh, like spinner speeds and whatnot. So let's change it. That's the wrong way. Slow is boring. Can you go over 100? Oh my God, you can just keep going. My hand hurts. All right, that should be enough for a first test. Let's just... Did I just go into real life? Ah, Reliant Robin. That looks nothing like a Reliant Robin. It might be a little bit different. Let's uh, use this. These things shouldn't exist anyways. Full speed of... Oh, don't flip it. Full speed ahead. All right, and get out before I kill myself. Oh! What the frig happened now? I don't want to be here. Excuse me. Can I come back in? Let me back into the map, please. Oh. Thank you. Oh, uh, now it truly feels like BMNG. We got slow motion on and everything. Here we go. Oh my God. Not even a second hit. Jeez. <laughs> That's actually impressive. I mean, it's no BMNG, but it's damn close at this point. Ice cream, anybody? Here we go. Oh, I thought it was going to flatten us. No, it's just going so fast. It just pummels us into... Uh, a frame and that's pretty much it. That's gonna take out whatever that is. Oh, is that one of those crushers? Yeah, those are vehicle crushers, dude. There's actually a lot here. This is cool. Oh, that was actually way stronger than I expected. Stop! Let me go! I, I didn't come up here to stop. Oh my god, I actually cannot fall off. Okay, let's, let's hit this fr from the side then. And away we... <laughs> I am absolutely destroying these cars. Again, I think it's because of the structural in integrity mod. It really makes a lot of smoke, too, as you can see. What is this? Spring? Oh, Jesus. Okay, that explains it. This is going to hurt. Yep. Ooh, this is getting me uh, Mirror's Edge vibes. Uh, welcome to Vector Tower, ladies and gentlemen. Just a, you guessed it, giant tower to destroy. My favorite types of maps. So yeah, I really want to play with this structural integrity. Uh, and why not use some of our weapons again? Should we start with the Sith Saber? Probably not. That's probably one of the most destructive. Let's start with the pool cue. Take that tower. Yeah, you, you, you like that? You like that, you little jerk? All right, well, that's not very destructive, is it? Let's try one punch man again. Sometimes it's good, sometimes it's bad. This time it's bad. Oh, wow, we, we took out a door. One punch man should be able to do a hell of a lot more than that, though. All right, let's try some of these weapons now. I do have a bunch of moddable weapons, which are some of my favorite in this game. If you remember, I showed the HK-46, I believe it was. These things are totally customizable. Like, it's actually insane at what you can do with some of these. Of course, we need a silencer. That looks to be a, a vertical grip. Yeah, you can hover over any of this and see. Let's get the drum in there. That should be good. Let's, let's try it out. These are much more realistic, which I appreciate. Because too many weapons in this game are over the top. Sometimes you just want some realistic weapons. And uh, I don't think we're going to take down the tower with this. But I do really appreciate the detail. And I have a bunch of these too. Same thing with the G36K. You can put it in semi-full burst. Even the recoil is quite realistic, as you can see. So you just want to fire it in shots. I can't wait till multiplayer comes in this game. And I should mention, there is a few mods that are very much working on that. So hopefully we can see that in the very near future. Now, I do have this. I don't know if this is by the same creator. I don't think it is. It should be a hell of a lot more dangerous. I don't know if I necessarily like the sight, but... Hold on, we just have to reload it. My bad. <laughs> yeah, with explosive ammo... Oh, now you can watch how some of the uh, mass actually destroys more of the tower. Somehow one of the most impressive physics-based games is becoming more impressive with the power of the modders in this community. Oh, dude, I just want to see it destroy itself. Yes. <laughs> Look at it. Oh, it's so good now. Oh, you have no idea how much fun I'm having right now. I mean... All you have to do is give me a gun with explosives, and I am, I am, I'm, I'm a happy dude. You can actually see the bullets in this, too. I don't know if you saw that. They're not that fast, but they do pack a punch. This is what I call an eraser weapon. All it does is just destroy everything in its path, just like an eraser. You can just, you can just cut whole buildings if you want. Okay, I'm going to destroy this whole thing. I actually don't want to use that. It's a little too overpowered. We also have this cone gun. This is kind of similar to the other one, just not as disastrous. You can actually change the cone length as well. 
and it can make some pretty cool designs. I want to see if we can maybe destroy this a little bit by just doing this. I mean, things are falling off, but it's not going as much as I thought it would. Look at that, though. That's actually pretty cool looking. And then let's not forget this guy. Oh, I wonder if we can move this. Oh, I actually see that. I break the ground. It, like, erases the ground around me. That's actually insane. All right, let's use the Sis Saber, though. Honestly, coolest weapon I've seen in a while. Very freaking fun to use. And I love that you can just kind of direct it. That's probably going to knock off the majority of that. Actually, this is staying together a lot better than I expected. Let's bring it over here. Oh, there goes the roof. Oh, yeah, it's doing a decent amount of damage. Oh, yeah, I forgot. This weapon actually has more. We can force lightning. Oh, my God. Again, I have way too much power right now. Yes! I love that I can direct this wherever I want. Let's see if we can knock down this big pillar. God, this is one of the coolest weapons. Wow, that actually went down on its own. I didn't even destroy the top. And unfortunately, it broke into a million pieces, but did do a lot of damage. That's so fun. Oh, something actually exploded in there. We can also, oh my god, force levitate. <gasps> oh my god. <laughs> oh my, this is easily one of the coolest freaking weapons in this game. Oh man. I want to see if I can levitate this. Come on, don't fall. Don't fall. Stop. I mean, I'm holding some of it up. Dude, this makes me feel like a freaking superhero. You can also push objects with it by walking forwards or backwards and they'll follow you, as you can see. Oh my god, dude. This is... I'm, I, I am just blown away once again with this game. Oh, and when you're done with all your shenanigans, of course, it's a lightsaber. You can put it away. <laughs> All right, guys. Well, I think you guys get the idea. Uh, absolutely fantastic mods once again. Obviously, a lot of very highly detailed ones in this episode. And as per usual, I had a blast playing this. I hope you guys enjoyed the destruction once again. As per usual, if you do want to download anything that you saw in this video, there should be links in the description of this video where you can do so. Thank you so much for your support, guys. Thanks for watching and liking. And I'll see you in the next one. Oh man, I love the destruction now.